Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing effect. Ok, first of all drag and drop our fusion composition and let's jump into the fusion page. We need a text plus node which we will merge onto our background. Now right click on this space and select edit controls. Let's name it number slider. Now select a text option and slider control and input from 0 to, for example, 1 million, some big number. Once done, please make sure to check these two boxes and click on OK. Once we are done, we'll see the number slider down below, but if we try to slide it, Nothing happens, but don't worry, we'll fix it just in a bit. Just right click on here and then choose the option expression. Now we just need to type text one dot number slider and press enter. And now if you check, we'll see that our slider finally works, but we want to add a dollar sign next to it. Here's how to do it. We just need to type this in and press enter and then you'll see our dollar sign. Yeah, that already looks better but we can improve it even more, here's how. We can choose the font we like from our library and then we can add all of these different kinds of effects onto it. Shadows, borders, color, etc. Now we can add the scar lines node and increase this value, for example, uh, I don't know, something like this. Yeah, that looks fine. Now we need to add the glow node. Me personally, I love to use this custom node, which I got online from one amazing guy. Uh, he gave it out for free and if your guys are interested, I can share it with you in some other video. Just let me know in the comments below. And for the final touch, I just want to add a drop shadow node because I think it looks a little bit better. Yeah, it, it adds some texture to it. Now let's start animating. Go to the frame 0, place the keyframe on our number slider, then go a few seconds forward and add another keyframe. And of course change the value, right? <laughs> Now of course we need to add a transform node, place the keyframe on frame 0 and again keyframe at the, I don't know, for example frame 60. And now let's move our text, something like that. Click on spline, select the transform node, select all, right click, select on ease and choose outback cubic. This will add this amazing keyframes to this animation. And that final effect looks like this. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, tell me in the comment section down below what are the things that you would like to see from my channel in the future. My name was Milovan and thanks for watching.